Hello, welcome to episode 32 of The Daily Decrypt. I am your host, Amanda. Today's episode is brought to you by B&C Exchange. Another real-world company has issued shares on the NXT Asset Exchange. Farla Web Media is a Netherlands-based SEO and web design company. Given the ticker name of Farla Web, the asset sold out within just a few hours of its going on sale, and it will pay monthly dividends on Farla Web Media's earnings. You may remember when we reported on Forklog, which is a Russian Bitcoin magazine, when they did the same, issuing an asset on the NXT Asset Exchange. And the appropriate term for all of this is crypto equity. And it brings a whole host of new questions, like will these companies publish their earnings somehow in a publicly auditable way? Or will their shareholders need to trust that they are publishing correct earnings? Who knows? Uh, time will tell, as crypto equity is a very new and, in my opinion, very exciting space. Bitcoin Not Bombs is holding an anti-war haiku contest on Twitter until December 16th. And in keeping with the structure of haikus, which is five syllables, seven syllables, and then five syllables, the awards paid out will be 0.5 Bitcoin, 0.7 Bitcoin, and 0.5 Bitcoin again to first, second, and third place winners, respectively. You can tweet your entry to antiwar.com, which the Daily Decrypt did on our own behalf just today. The Airbits Bitcoin wallet has integrated with the Glidera exchange to make buying and selling Bitcoins accessible from just within the wallet. Now, Airbits is nice in that the wallet makes automatic backups for you, which could have been useful when, as I told you last week, the bar owner I convinced to accept Bitcoin ended up running over his phone the next day with a motorcycle. <laughs> There's a pretty new YouTube channel called Crypto Designer, and I watched it last night, and I'm always attracted to like new personalities and new sort of cultural vibes from within the cryptocurrency sphere, because that to me says that something that started out, you know, quite small in a, in a very small group of people is branching out into completely different cultures and different mindsets, and that's exciting. And so if you'd like to check out, he's pretty entertaining, uh, crypto designer. He is a Scandinavian guy who like wears this sideways hat and has this neat background behind him and basically talks about how central banking is thievery and all of these sorts of exciting things. But he doesn't use political buzzwords, which I really like. Uh, he's not throwing around like progressive or libertarian or liberal or all of these words for which there is no agreed upon definition and hence confuse people. And so it's just nice to see things that are truthful talked about without political terms. Yay for you, crypto designer. Thanks. <laughs> Willpaycoin.com is a new site which allows for the making or the hunting for Bitcoin bounties. Bounties currently listed there include proving that you've gotten a bar anywhere within the US to accept Bitcoin and put up a sign about it. There's a bounty for praying to the flying spaghetti monster in a city council meeting. And there's a bounty for writing script for a Namecoin light client. Each one lists who the arbitrator will be in case of a dispute. And so this will likely create a trust market uh, in terms of arbiters at WillPayCoin. And the whole thing's been created by this guy named Steve Vincent who lives in California. And Bitcoin bounties in general are becoming more popular as we've seen from example, Roger Veer, who gets you know, hacked and threatened on a semi-regular basis. And this is a, a quick and easy way to put out a bounty if you would like to see something get done. Story time, it's story time. Yesterday evening, my manservant and I went out on a date for my birthday and we hit up this food truck we had been interested in seeing. Um, we've passed it a few times here in Acapulco, Mexico, where we currently are. This truck called Smoked. And we approached them and met the person running the truck, 
who was like this 18 year old kid. Can I call him a kid? I'm gonna call him a kid. His name is Felipe. And Felipe attends college in Mexico City. And I ended up asking him, uh, conoces bitcoins? Uh, do you know Bitcoin? And he said no. And he struck me as the kind of entrepreneuring spirit who might be interested to be his own bank. And so last night I helped Felipe set up a wallet and I told him I would send him some bitcoins when I got home and if he would message me his address on Facebook, which he did. And so this is Felipe's QR code. I have already sent a little crypto love there myself. Feel free to do the same if you would like. And Felipe, if you are watching this, if you begin accepting Bitcoin at your food truck smoked, be sure to list yourself on coinmap.org as well as the Airbits merchant map to get more business. And yay for you. Today's episode is brought to you by BNC Exchange, which is a decentralized exchange for everyone. BNC Exchange will be decentralized, reputation-based, and globally accessible. Ownership of BNC Exchange is publicly available through crypto equity tokens called block shares. And transaction fees on the exchange are paid by block credits. So revenue from the sale of block credits are paid to block shares holders through automatic Bitcoin dividends. Learn more at bcexchange.org. Adios, amigos. Don't.